With over half a million vehicles under their fuel and maintenance management, find out how this Brazilian company is staying on top. Let me tell you about Ecofrotas. We are a, a merge of the economic and ecological approaches in the fuel and maintenance management market in Brazil. So we've been operating for the last 12 years already and we manage more than 500,000 vehicles of more than 9,000 customers in our country. And we do that within monthly meetings with our customers where we do recommendations regarding their fuel and maintenance processes related to the economic and ecological approaches. Uh, related to the types of fuels that the drivers can use, in Brazil we have a very solid sugarcane ethanol market. So we've been producing that for the last decades. So gasoline, ethanol, CNG are very, very used types of fuels in Brazil. So our system allows the fleet manager to define which fuel is the primary fuel and which fuel is the secondary fuel. And we can, we can set parameters in our system so that the operation has to follow those rules. I mean, if the company is very environmental concerned, they can use 95% ethanol and 5% gasoline, and we can set those parameters in our system so that the drivers need to follow those, those instructions, those rules. Ecofrotus has some unique cons uh, constraints within our, our services, and one of them is the ecological approach, definitely. So we are the, the first company in, in our market to merge economic and ecological approaches as well. And when we bring our, our fuel matrix into this arena, it's, it's a very good help for us because sugarcane ethanol, as I said, is very well developed, and it's considered a 100 carbon free type of fuel by the GHG protocols. So more than 85% of the vehicles sold in Brazil are already flex technology vehicles. And as I said, we are very well developed in terms of sugarcane ethanol producing in our country. So no matter where you go in our country, you can use ethanol to refuel your car. And the price sometimes can be 50 or 60% of the gasoline price. So it would be economically and ecologically feasible, I would say. But sometimes of the year, during some months of the year, uh, and also due to some, some market issues like sugar price in, in the stock exchange market, the ethanol price is not that feasible. The, the cost per kilometer is not that feasible. So some companies they are very resistant to use ethanol because of that. The drivers are also resistant, so they prefer to use gasoline or to let the driver choose what they want to do. So in order to solve this economic issue, because uh, ethanol is ecologically the best fuel to be used, but sometimes it's not the most economically feasible fuel to be used. So in order to solve that, Ecofrotas, in association with a consultancy company in Brazil, developed a project regarding carbon credits so, and we were approved in that project a couple of months ago. So in a summary, if a company starts using not less than 95% ethanol in their fleet operation, this company can get carbon credits at the end of the year. And Ecofrotas is, is the company who is going to intermediate that operation.